How many times have you heard or read about the importance of time management in business and in life? You can't get it back. You have to use it wisely. Yet, how often do you feel there's just not enough time to do all the things you want to do? There are only 24 hours in a day. So then, multitasking is introduced. And what we hear most people say is, if only I could get better at multitasking. At the same time, pun intended, scientists are debating whether or not time exists at all, with theories even revolving around the idea of past, present, and future all coexisting. Makes your head spin, doesn't it? Let's try something more practical. Can you recall an experience where you felt that time would not go by? Like watching a clock and feeling minutes passing by so slowly that it feels like it's taking forever? Now, what about an instance when you started a conversation with a friend and you felt you lost track of time? Before you knew it, one or two hours had passed. So let's talk about how you can control time. Welcome to Say Net to Life. I'm Andreas Batakis, and I am a mindset coach. I'm Nateria Kladidis, and I'm a peak performance energy coach. We've talked before about how effort is limited, but energy is limitless. With time, it is similar from a scientific perspective. In our everyday lives, we can make the most of every day by taking control of its moment. Routines and doing things automatically without taking, without thinking often, make the day go by and let you wonder, where did my day go? When you do what you do every moment with intention and presence, things change dramatically. In this sense, multitasking is not the solution to never having enough time. Laser focusing on one thing at a time, on the other hand, is what can increase your productivity. Being present with every task or every client makes a huge difference. This presence allows you to be more effective and more efficient. It will also bring you more joy, a higher sense of satisfaction. And because when you are not part of a mindless routine, you are more aware of your accomplishments each and every day. It does take effort, but trust us, it's all worth it. The automation is easy, but as we shared with you before, the first thought may be automatic, but the second one is under your control. Try it. Bring your energy and your focus in now, as if now is the only time that matters. By the way, this will also help with things that seem too big or too difficult to accomplish. Like when you're thinking about all the things you need to do and how you need to do them, the now laser focus approach to the present moment is going to make it easier, is a game changer. Something else that can impact your life and sense of being present in the moment is your level of consciousness. Being conscious about which energy level you are in shapes your reality. It's not only what you do, but from which place you are energetically when you're doing it. One of my favorite examples is how you can use the same words to say something completely different depending on the way that you say it and feel when you're saying it. For example, sure, this will definitely work. Or you can say, Sure, this will definitely work. You can work with yourself to shift from lower levels of energy, such as fear and doubt, to higher levels of energy, like enthusiasm and joy. How do you do this? Through awareness, acceptance, and action. Awareness is about asking yourself, what level am I in right now? But there's a catch to this. This is not meant to put you in a tight spot or make you feel bad about yourself. You are where you need to be. And by the way, since we are humans, no one can be all sunshine and rainbows all the time. It's okay to feel fear and doubt. It's neither good or bad. Really, it's not. It's just that becoming aware of it 
can help you shift to where you want to be. This is why after awareness, you have acceptance. And it's not about making yourself wrong or about rolling over and accepting something that happened as is. It's exactly the opposite. It's about knowing that change is a possibility. It is an empowering acceptance that allows you to move on from where you are to where you want to be. Finally, my favorite, nothing happens without action. Aligned action, that is. After you become aware and you have acceptance, if you are looking for a change to do, you have to have aligned action. Sometimes you may not know what that action is. That's okay. You can always ask yourself, what can I do? What can I do that will have a powerful enough impact to create the result I truly desire? And if the answer still does not come to you, create some space. Take a break. Go for a walk. Take a bath. Give yourself the space and time to work it out. Sometimes your best ideas come when you're in the shower or when you're on a walk or taking a jog. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's discussion. Until next time. Take care of yourselves.